Welcome friends, it's Miss Gisa, and today's story is called The Night Flower by one of my favorite authors, Lara Hawthorne. And if you haven't already listened to other stories that I've read, be sure to tune in on our YouTube channel. The story is about a saguaro cactus. The saguaro cactus is found in the Sonoran Desert. The flowers are special because they bloom for a single night once a year. During this short period, their strong scent and brilliant white petals attract rare pollinators, including bats, moths, and doves. The desert is greeted by the climbing sun. It's vibrant and busy now that spring has begun. Can you spot the saguaros, so spiky and tall? A haven for wildlife, the large and the small. Atop the saguaros, at great lofty heights, birds can sit safely and rest from their flights. Woodpeckers tap, making holes with their beaks, little round homes where they can retreat. The desert blooms pink, orange, yellow, and red, while bees, birds, and butterflies dance overhead. Bright colored petals call out to small beasts, enticing them near for nectar-filled feasts. Hiding in shade beneath sweet-smelling trees, wandering deer are enjoying the leaves. Young squirrels leap from thin branches that sway. They hop and they hide carefree as they play. As temperatures rise, the sun bakes the hard ground. Sleepy eyes close and there's barely a sound. Spotty, scaled lizards look out at the view, waiting for nightfall when noise will ensue. Animals wait for the night flower show, but for now, the whole desert is sleepy and slow. A tortoise plods by in the heat of the day while a rattlesnake rasps as it snoozes away. The desert wakes up as the temperature cools. Animals search for the precious first bloom. They head for a cactus, the tallest in sight, waiting and watching as day turns to night. As the darkness sets in, moths stir in delight, searching for flowers in the cool desert night. A fierce furry hunter with sharp pointed teeth howls at the sky on its little pink feet. And high on the cactus, beneath the bright moon, a tiny green bud is beginning to bloom. Its white velvet petals unfurl and reach high, and a thick fruity fragrance fills the night sky. As more flowers wake in the chorus of scent, New creatures appear for this special event. Brown bats with black wings sense something sweet and gather to sip from this night blooming treat. Around the saguaro, the shining moonlight, the desert is festive and thriving tonight. Bobcats chase pack rats and ringtails climb high while the blooms rest like stars against the night sky. At the dawn of the day, with the new rising sun, the bats hurry home to take care of their young. For the birds and the bees, there are still a few hours to visit the cactus and sip from its flowers. The desert will quiet as the day starts anew, but the busy saguaro has work yet to do. Its flowers will close and a red fruit will grow with seeds that make a new saguaro. Although saguaros reach heights of up to 49 feet, they grow very, very slowly. In fact, it may take up to 200 years before they fully mature. Saguaros need very particular conditions, so it can be a struggle for them to grow at all. Only one in millions of tiny seeds will manage to grow the same size as its parent. 
So the saguaro life cycle starts, like all of the other plants that we've learned about, as seed. Then a young cactus grows. Then the maturing cactus. After that, you see the appearance of buds, and that happens at about 35 years. The flowers bloom, and then the fruit ripens and drops the black little seeds, and the cycle begins again. Let's look at the saguaro. At the very top, that's called the crown. And you can see the flowers and the fruit on top of the saguaro are perfectly positioned for flying creatures to feed from them. Do you remember from the story what kind of animals eat from the saguaro? Then you can see the fruit. Each fruit contains up to 2,000 tiny seeds. Wow! Next you see the arm. The saguaro grows its first arm at around 100 years old. And at the bottom, you see the saguaro has shallow roots, allowing it to soak up water from the ground's surface. Then from there, you see the trunk. The spongy insides of the cactus can store up to 240 gallons of water. Wow! And then finally, you see the spines. Saguaros have spines instead of leaves to protect the precious water inside their trunks from the animals. It's hard to get water in the desert, so that's where it's stored and they have to protect that water. Did you spot these animals? If you didn't, you can listen to the story again and see if you can spot them. The rainbow grasshopper, the lesser long-nosed bat, the ringtail, the grasshopper mouse, gamble squail, bobcat, Sonoran desert tortoise, white-lined sphinx moth, gila monster, and the gila woodpecker. I just love the stories that Lara Hawthorne writes and her illustrations are amongst my favorites. I hope you've enjoyed the story. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe.